Hey guys, my name is Amanpreet Singh and I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that most of you guys watching have had a filling before. Fillings are one of the most common dental procedures and most people don't really overreact when they hear that they need one. It's almost like they're expecting it. Oh, I need a filling? Hmm. So brushing once a week isn't gonna cut it, huh? Yes, obviously we have some exceptions of people who take really good care of their teeth and never need a filling, but you get the picture. But what exactly is a dentist looking for when he decides that you need a filling? Sometimes a dentist will see a cavity forming and decide that it doesn't need a filling yet. And other times you'll see a cavity that's forming and decide that it does need a filling. But how exactly is that dentist determining whether or not you need a filling? I mean, he's not just winging it, right? No, your dentist is not just winging it. Usually you need a filling when you have a cavity. A cavity is basically a hole that forms in your tooth. You get a cavity when you have these bad bacteria in your mouth and they start eating on the sugars and other carbohydrates that enter your mouth. Once they eat on these sugars, they release these byproducts that are very acidic. These acidic byproducts will damage our teeth and this is what causes holes to form, or in other words, a cavity. So if this cavity that's forming is still in your enamel or the outer layer of your teeth, then it doesn't need a filling. It can actually be reversed. But once this cavity has reached your dentin or the inner layer of your teeth, now it has to have a filling and there's no way to reverse it. Your dentin is a lot weaker than your enamel. So once these bacteria have gotten here, now they're gonna start spreading a lot faster. So the dentist will use their drill and they'll drill away all the part of the tooth that's infected with bacteria. And once all that decay is cleaned away and you have clean tooth structure, now the dentist will put their filling material and basically build that tooth back up. It's a very straightforward procedure. Now if you need a filling, you wanna make sure you take care of it right away because the longer you wait, the longer it gives these bacteria to spread and grow and now you're giving them the opportunity to spread to the center of your tooth. In the center of your tooth lies the pulp or the nerve and blood supply to your tooth. This is what keeps your tooth alive. And if these bacteria ever spread here, it's gonna be very painful and now you're gonna need a root canal. And don't be afraid to ask your dentist if you're ever skeptical or don't believe that you really need a filling. Usually they can take a picture of your tooth or show you exactly what's going on in the x-ray. So when else would you need a filling? Well, sometimes you have these older silver fillings in your teeth. These fillings were probably done a long time ago and sometimes they start breaking down and need to be redone. And other times we have damage done to certain parts of our teeth, usually right along the gum line. And this is usually because we're brushing too hard in that area or even when you're grinding and clenching your teeth, it can cause lesions to form here. And sometimes this can be kind of sensitive because you're exposing the inner layer of your tooth. And it's also more likely that you'll get a cavity here because it's harder to clean. So you can also place a filling here. And other times your front tooth or something can chip and the dentist can use the same filling material here and try to build that tooth back up and make it look nice and pretty again. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked that video. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel below. I'll see you in the next video.